Uh, people live out their lives of faith in community. Uh, no man is an island, is the, the popular adage, and I think that's very much the case when we speak about religious communities. People live their lives as Christians, as Jews, as Muslims, as Hindus, individually certainly with their own devotions, but then they manifest their beliefs and they live out their faith in a community. Not simply maybe the local parish or the local temple, but within that broader community of faith that exists beyond even just the very local community. That reality in people's lives of faith has led people of faith to come together throughout history to advance particular goals, particular common goals, particular um, ways of living out their faith that give um, a witness to the importance of certain tenets of faith. This might be in the area of education, might be in the area of healthcare, and that's why from the very beginning of our country we have had faith communities developing institutions, building institutions, not simply for their own benefit, but for the benefit of the entire broader community. Whether we're speaking about Catholic hospitals, Jewish hospitals, Jewish day schools, Muslim day schools, these are institutions that are meant to bring the community together, but also to be a witness to that broader community. If we begin to lose sight of that, if we begin to lose sight of the fact that people of faith live their faith out, in a variety of institutions, in a variety of ways that speak to what they hold to be true, then we are in a very perilous situation, I think, for religious freedom. It is not just the individual that is at stake, but it's the broader community that is at stake. This was recognized in the Loyola High School case, uh, and I think it's increasingly being recognized, for example, in the BC Court of Appeals ruling on the Trinity Western case. So I think there is a general understanding that faith-based institutions have a particular role in our society as faith-based institutions, as manifestations and creations of a particular community to serve the common good. If we want to defend religious freedom in Canada, if we want to advance religious freedom, we must do it not simply on an individual level, obviously individuals are the bearers of human rights, but those individuals live out their faith in community. They live out their faith by being involved in particular faith-based institutions that seek to advance a particular understanding of the human being and of the common good for all of society.